Oh, hi. It's you. Um, hello. I'm good. I didn't think I'd be seeing you here. You can call me Hong Yi. That's what my friends call me. Yeah. Thank you. <laughs> you too. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> oh, without skipping through anything, I actually tried to read uh, Jack Ma's book, Alibaba book in Chinese on the plane. I bought it in China and I don't remember the, the last time I read a book in Chinese. So um, I'm, I was pretty proud of myself, although I probably didn't understand 20% of it. A misconception that I sometimes get is, oh, it's actually easy talking to you, or oh, you're actually approachable. So I don't know what vibe I give off on the camera, but yeah, I think I'm pretty friendly. What do I hate most about the dating process? Uh, I guess when I was on Tinder just now, I really hated that uh, I judged all of you, all of the left swipers, um, based on what I saw on Tinder. <laughs> For example, if you had a picture with your mom or another woman, it's a left swipe. So I'm sorry, that's a quick judgment call. What's been something I've always wanted to try? Maybe, um, maybe skydiving, is that too cliche? I, I'd like to try skydiving one day. Oh, wow, that's going to be fun. I would trade lives with, maybe with, um, maybe with, uh, <laughs> maybe with Mariah Carey during the height of the career. Because <laughs> I want to know what it's like to be able to sing on stage. <laughs> no, I'm horrible. <laughs> so I want to know how it's like to be actually able to sing super well. <laughs> Um, I think I have a sweet tooth, but I've, I've been trying to go savory so I've not been having a lot of sugar lately. Ma maybe something without sugar would be great. <laughs> Aya. <laughs> um, okay, so Elon Musk is getting a couple of artists uh, and a bunch of creatives onto the moon. I want to be one of them. I, if I had not been an artist, I would have started a bicycle company. My favorite color is not red. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, now you guess. Which ones, which ones are the truths? Two truths and one lie. Okay, the first one's a lie. Because um, I've had some friends asking me, would you go on the moon? <laughs> If you, if you were selected. No, I would not. I think I would be too scared. I do not believe in ghosts anymore. And I think uh, it's a lot of it has to do with here. <laughs> in, uh, so I spent three years in a Chinese school called Chongzhen and I used to go like this to set myself apart to look a little bit more famous in school. So yeah, I used to walk around with folded sleeves like that. So that was what I used to do. <laughs> I think I'm able to <laughs> mimic animal sounds for you. <laughs> okay, as a kid, as a kid, no, 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 no. <laughs> I just dug my own grave, right? <laughs> no, 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 as a kid, not anymore, not anymore. I don't have any too bad scars. Um, maybe this one was, uh, I think, first day of sports in Chongqing and I uh, went for like a track and field kind of um, training and I fell down but nothing too serious. Huh. A perfect mate would be someone who uh, I really get along with, who has a good heart, who's capable and who I'm attracted to. Ta-da! You! <laughs> Right now, I'm about, I'd say about seven or eight. I drove here, so I'm gonna drive back.
unless I'm not feeling very, uh, unless I'm intoxicated. I'm just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I just described you as the perfect mate. Y'all tick all four. Oh, thank you. Oh, okay. I, I will. You call me first. of the day. <laughs>